When I started getting exposed to underground music and punk and zine culture, DIY was a term that was connected to that. And that's what DIY meant to me, was it was a lifestyle choice and there was no rules. Zine culture was about being able to make a publication that you could do anything with. And you could, there are, you could have no topic, you could have 10 topics, you could just do it. And that's so awesome and exciting and important. And when I found that there was other makers who were making work and then the term DIY got connected to that, it was, it was a bridge between the two things that I loved the most, which was no rules and making things. And, and I have no problem being an educator and telling people that you can do whatever you want because that's really important. Because for me as a teenager, when I was 14 and I listened to Bikini Kill for the first time, which is a, a, a riot girl band from the mid 90s, and I heard lyrics that told me that I could do what I wanted as a teenage girl, that changed my entire life. Included, I don't ever see myself going back to being a designer full time where I'm in studio making everything in house with a seasonal line sheet and doing wholesale because it, I don't want to make the same thing. Even if it's an addition of a hundred, I don't really want to make a hundred of the same thing anymore. Um, and that I think was just a learning process for, for some people, not everyone. Something that I've been interested in continually over probably the past 15 years is um, the way that we view our urban landscape. And a big part of that is signage and advertisement. And the people behind that at one point in time were sign painters. Up until the early 80s, everything was hand lettered. Um, from street signs to windows to large, you know, advertisements on brick buildings. And what I was interested in doing is going back and telling that story through interviews, similar to what we did with Handmade Nation. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit of a different format. I'm working with a co-director, um, my friend Sam Macon, and we are interviewing people who worked, continue to work, and who are picking up the trade and craft of hand lettering and sign painting.